Yes, well, imagine our small yet reputable marketing firm working for you. We're, we're, we're devoting all of our time to your business. That way, while you're uh, taking time off, uh, let's say enjoying the pleasures of life with uh, Barbara, uh, let's say there's a banner and it's on the 76 bus going downtown doing the work for you. Yeah, I uh, know how a marketing company works. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, tell me, what do you do after work usually? I'm not sure. Okay, all right, if you're not sure, then I can hypothetically just tell you what you're doing, say, tonight? I'm not sure. Sure, okay. Um, help me help you, right? Right, that sort of thing? Okay. Um, what did you do last night? Morning. Hey, Emma. Um, did you happen to get a chance to print out a main client list? Okay, well, Bob, I'm gonna keep you on speed dial in case anything changes uh, here, okay. All right, yep. Lost Wilshire. I begged him for a month to let us sell his toe socks. You should have been begging him for jobs at his toe sock company at this point. Your little jabs aren't necessary, Tom. Uh, don't tell me what is and isn't necessary, Dan. Why do you insist on making situations worse? Because it's the truth. All right, you said it yourself, these lists are shit. Hey, I did not curse. I didn't say you did. You just said you said it yourself. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you about the lists. Yeah, these lists are terrible. Someone sensible agrees. I think you wasted over two months on that account, Dan. See, now, Dan, how do you insist on making situations work? Shut up! Just shut up! We got a meeting with Green Street in two hours. Holy shit. Wait, a meeting? Yeah, haven't had one of those with a new client in a while. Been working on it five months now. You've been talking over marketing strategies with Green Street? Yeah, it's been pretty tough talking to him, trying to get him on board with us. Wade, 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 you don't seem to understand the problem with these sheets here, okay? The businesses we can't handle. So they give us the same rub off every time. Yeah, Wilshire, same story. He didn't think we had the people or the tech to benefit him. Realistically, we don't have the numbers to win over somebody like Green Street. It is now realistic. What does that mean? You're fabricated. Look! <sighs> Look, if we contact the vendors that showed interest in us and uh, get a few more sales guys in here, I think we'll have what we need to market for a company as large as his. Yeah, if we pull resources out of thin air. Or lie. Yeah. We're getting by. Okay, we're doing fine. But if we get this client, Green Street, <laughs> I don't know, we may get to hear what the sound of a, of a, of a laugh. See what a laugh sounds like in here once in a while? Mm -hmm. It currently sounds like desperation. Like how you're talking to Emma?
Okay, let's uh, let's get to work. For an agency seemingly as small as yours, I have to say your numbers are quite good. Thank you, Mr. Greenstreet. But I haven't heard of half of these businesses. Well, a lot of them are foreign. We deal with corporations and companies overseas. Well, Wade, from what I've seen and from what you've told me over the months about your client's growth, I'd be willing to give you a shot by starting you out with a small marketing budget. This is what I'd expect. <clears throat> Want to check out your office first. We'll do next week, Monday. Will that be all right? Yes. Yes! Yes, yes, yes!
Hey. Hey, so. Did you wake you? No. Where were you last night? Just at the office. <clears throat> I finally finished the last art piece in my abstract series for the art exhibition. You gotta start sleeping. Had a meeting with him today. Green Street? Uh-huh. I think I got him, Bonnie. I'm glad. Did you eat dinner? Buy some lunch tomorrow, will ya? I'll see you at my art show tomorrow. I'm going bankrupt. What? What happened? We haven't had a new client in a while. I'll try and pick up some more shifts. Bonnie, Green Street is coming in next week. I know what he wants, okay? I just need to hire more people and contact some suppliers. That's it. If we get him, Why didn't you order a Denver with rye? What well, better than? That's skinnier. I didn't even know you knew what X Benedict was. Okay, what's the point of this? This? You chose to respond to my text. Well, you didn't have to choose a place filled with nostalgia and emotional resonance. You chose the time, 1 p.m. You're the one who texted me in the first place. You didn't need to respond! All right! You want something. And I don't know what it is, but that's how it always was. You know, you nearly drove my agency into the ground out of spite. Because what? You didn't get your way for once in your life. Then you left. Yes, no problem.
me try this again tomorrow? Same time, same place. So this is it? Yes. Yeah. We've actually only had about four people working here for the past three months. This is not what he told me. Mr. Greenstreet! Wait, wait! Mr. Greenstreet! Don't mess with me. Oh, the Robert Redford looking guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You lied to him by saying eight people would be working here with vendors we don't even have. It was a promise. We were going to have it all by Monday before he came. <laughs> were those businesses we never dealt with also gonna appear by Monday? Come on. Why are you doing all this? Why am I doing all this? Because you need to get me a real freaking desk. <sighs> Look, I get it. I get no respect here. That's fine, you know. But my dad has finally got a job waiting for me back in Santa Monica. Thank God, right? So, I thought I'd leave by doing, I don't know, the humble thing? By humbling you? By... Humiliating you. Ha.
Where were you yesterday? Did what you said. Used to ten. Found out what eggs Benedict is. Tell me about the girls in your sketches. I lost the Green Street Jail. It's okay. No. It's not. Green Street was there. And then he left. <laughs> you laugh at me behind my back, don't you? What? That's it. You're sick of me. I get it. Door is over there. You're free to leave. I didn't make it. I tried to be successful for you. Success, it's not realistic. It shouldn't be the one talking about success. What? Come on. Left art school, got stuck at a dead end job for four years. Had your first art show, and from the looks of it, sold nothing. You can go now. At least I'm not the one failing at something I hate just to prove I have an ounce of self-worth. I spent the entirety of today just remembering that feeling of looking at the world through this filter of warmth. I want to keep you laid, but I want to keep that feeling. And yeah, I'm failing at it. But I love what I do. At least I'm failing at something I'm passionate about rather than failing at pleasing my ego.